we're gonna be putting a project in the ground and this is before we're even cleaning ponds out. We have some new guys that are gonna be coming out here. So we're gonna kind of use it as a training exercise. We have a relatively new product to us, which is the fake basalt columns. Look at them go. It takes one person and you can see how easy it is. Would you look at that? Nice and easy. Super excited how this one went. I really love how the basalts look. Hey everyone, it's Jack. We're back here in our construction area and uh, I am really excited because we're gonna be putting a project in the ground and this is before we're even cleaning ponds out. So I'm super excited. I've been saying the theme of this year has just been, well, the weather's nice out, the weather's nice out, the weather is nice out, and I am not kidding you. We just had, we just wrapped up our academies and it was nicer outside than it was inside. It was a lot warmer, it was enjoyable, and it just got us all eager. And we have a small little project that we're able to kind of sneak in right before cleanouts. We kind of have this lull where we have a couple days that, I, that we could sneak it in. So today I'm getting everything ready. I have my, you can tell that I have my cleanout tub, all of our shovels, rakes, the shebang shaboom, wheelbarrows and everything like that. I gotta pull down that pallet up there of aqua blocks because this is our back area and we have a bunch of stuff that's brand new that we are gonna use on this project. We're gonna be a basalt column project. So that means we are gonna have 30 large aqua blocks, pump vault, that's sitting just over to my right hand shoulder, two extensions to go on top of that pump vault, a pump liner, some fabric, some basalts, some gravel. That's how you get an aquascape water feature in your backyard. I'm really excited to kind of get everything ready right now. We have yet to turn on a single pond in the Chicagoland area for us out here. We're still kind of prepping everything, getting the transits ready. So it's definitely kind of exciting and kind of weird that we're uh, starting before maintenance is. So stay tuned and see how well it goes. So we got all our stuff sitting right here, ready for Monday morning for us to come in bright and early, load all this stuff into this truck, this truck to leave out the door, and we could be on the road and on the way to get this project in the ground. So we're gonna be out here for probably two or three days, kind of depends on how everything goes. We have some new guys that are gonna be coming out here, so we're gonna kind of use it as a training exercise, kind of knock the dust off our boots. Get everybody all prepared for the season and everything. Right here is our project that we got going on. Like I said earlier, we're gonna have 30 large aqua blocks sitting in here. We're gonna mark it all out. I think we're gonna do five long aqua blocks by um, three wide. So we're kind of just gonna kind of play around, see what looks the best and what's gonna fit the best in this area. Unfortunately, we cannot get a machine in here. So we have come in through that gate here, but it's no big deal. We're gonna take it the wheelbarrow sitting right here and then we're gonna get two guys loading those wheelbarrows with soil. And then fortunately for us, we're going downhill down back behind those arbs. So we're gonna make a pile of dirt back behind there and then we're gonna be able to get cranking on this. So I think today's goal is just kind of get as much of the whole dug as possible. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we could get the whole finish today and then tomorrow we could focus on the basalt. Talk about a big feast for us. What do you think, guys? Levi? Yes. What do you got to say about this? It's bacon. It's bacon, can't, I know. Can't go like, wrong with bacon. You can't go wrong with bacon. Mm. Look at that. I mean, oh, I just, I cannot wait. It's so nice to come to a customer's house and for them to feed us breakfast. Very grateful for the homeowner to make this for us. So we've only been digging for maybe a half hour to 45 minutes or so. We got probably 75% more of the whole left to do. So we got our fabric down, we got our liner down, and we are getting another piece of fabric. Gonna lay it down here, and then we are gonna take all those aqua blocks and put them right where I'm standing, backfill with sand that's sitting in that wheelbarrow and in the back of the truck, and then uh, yeah, we'll call it a day. So uh, sun's out, 
and uh, yeah, we're having a good day out here. So super nice to come out here on in March 4th and uh, put a project in the ground. I am super happy on how the progress went today. So came out here, we dug the hole, got our fabric liner, fabric in, and then we throw our aqua blocks in and you can tell that we got the basin in. So you can see behind me, we got some white lines. That's all tomorrow's project. Tomorrow's focus is gonna be getting these basalts in. So kind of just playing with them, seeing what looks the best, gravel this area, do all the plumbing for our basalts. Um, we're gonna have another uh, set of guys and they are gonna be uh, tackling the pathway, getting some field sewn in and making that look nice and purdy. So definitely looking forward to how the progress is going out here. I know today, we're unfortunately, we're supposed to be getting some rain. So the guys right now are tarping our entire area. So that way tomorrow when we get here, it's not muddy and we can worry about um, going to town um, with dry soil and doing what we do best. And that's making backyards beautiful again. Well, the sun's shining. Unfortunately, it rained for the last probably eight hours of the night. It rained all night long. Fortunately, we covered everything and we knew that that was coming, but we're back out here and our goal today is gonna be finishing this thing. And I think that is very possible considering how many people we have out here. Let me spin you around and show you how many people we have. So we have two new guys, Andrew and Austin. You guys want to introduce yourself? I'm Austin. I'm from Chicagoland area. Uh, I like animals and I'm excited to work here, so. Cool, what have you done before this? Uh, a lot of landscaping, pretty much. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Austin, what about you? That's Andrew. awesome. Oh, Andrew, I'm sorry. <laughs> too many A names <laughs> around here. Yeah, I'm from the Chicagoland area too. I'm a, an aquarium hobbyist. I just like the nature and just everything about it. Just cool. cool me. Yeah, so we have uh, those two guys and then we have Z and Tyler. You guys have seen them. And then we also have Forrest and uh, Connor out here as well. So. We definitely have a lot of guys for uh, doing all this stuff. So these four guys are gonna be focusing on getting this pathway done, getting the, uh, getting some uh, boulders in, and then Connor, myself, and Forrest are gonna be worrying about getting the basalts in around here. So should be a pretty good day. There, those guys right now, Z is digging up. We are gonna be extending this drain tile. It's sitting right where he is at, and it's we're coming all the way down. And then it's gonna daylight into right here. And then we are going to pull up all this grass. They're going to bring in um, some uh, boulders. So I think one's going to go here, grouping there, and then another one over where Z is at. And then they're going to come through here, grade that uh, soil out, put some fabric down, put some of that steel edging down. And then we are going to be coming through here with our uh, black chips, doing this entire area. And then I think it's going to be a race on who can finish first, either this or that. Well, Z and the guys got all the drainage done out here. So they're starting to backfill everything. We got our pop-up admitter just right there. They already got um, this whole bug out for this rock here. And then as soon as they get done backfilling this uh, trench, they're gonna start placing these rocks and we're gonna be start uh, kicking our boots and uh, we're gonna be get going. This Connor and I are over here working about, we're, we're plumbers today, Connor. Yeah. <laughs> So what you guys just saw was us pulling in our basalt. So you can tell right here behind me, right here, we are getting our basalt columns already and in, um, in place and we're bringing them back here. And the thing is I wanted to show you is we have a relatively new product to us, which is the fake basalt columns. And you just saw Forrest and Connor almost struggle with that uh, small little basalt. I'm gonna show you what the tallest basalt column we have, what you're capable of doing with them. So Connor right now is grabbing that basalt and let's see if, uh, yeah, yeah, look at him go. Yeah, nice and, uh, nice and easy. It takes one person and you can see how, uh, how easy it is to have those basalt columns. Hey, Connor, why don't you uh, give that, why don't you give a toss to uh, Forrest over there? Would you look at, would you look at that? Nice and easy. We could, uh, hey, what, what, 
Why don't you place it over there, Connor? Actually, let's place it over there now. Look at how easy it is. With these things, it takes two people to move them. With that, you just need one person, right, Connor? I think I got my basalts where I want them. I have these groupings of three right here, and then I have these two kind of off centered and um, just to the side to splash and all towards the house. The view looks really good from inside, but the uh, most important thing that I'm worrying about right now is my plumbing. So, with this having five basalts, obviously, there's a little bit of plumbing involved because we got to get water from down there to flow on top of these. So, what I'm doing is I'm making up a manifold system right here. I'm gonna have two inch coming up out of my pump, coming out of the vault and then into my manifold all right here. So this is all two inch plumbing still, all in here. And then I'm gonna have a cap on that end, which is gonna allow back pressure to even out all these lines. It's exactly how we do our jets inside of our ponds. After the T, I reduce down to one inch pipe, which is right here. And then that one inch pipe is going to accept this ball valve and then which this coupling is gonna get reduced down to three quarter, which is gonna sit something like that. That's what our manifold is gonna look like. And then we are gonna um, throw our kink free line from this point here back into our basalts. And then um, we're gonna zip tie down all the uh, plumbing so that way it doesn't get disturbed. So yeah, we got uh, definitely a little bit of plumbing to do right now. So I'm gonna glue all that up real quick. So stay tuned to see what we got going on. So right now we got the plumbing done. You can see all that nice and neatly back there. We zip tie the pipes down to the underside of the, or the aqua blocks, just so that way the pipes don't come up with the gravel on top of them. But what, what I'm doing right now is kind of just throwing a few of these boulders in. We are using some aqua blues just to uh, have a nice contract with the basalt columns that we have here. So our next big challenge is moving this guy into that guy over there. So we're gonna move that over there, get some gravel in here and start dressing this thing up. Hey Z, what are we doing right now? Did you just hit your head? It's in my head. Did you just hit your head? Yep, I'm okay though. I'm, I'm gonna clean up against this tree. So, uh, right. what do we got going on right now? Just finishing up, clean it up. Uh, we got our basalts in, we got our DG in, pass all done, rocks are placed. How many days have we been out here for? Two. 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 And I think we were supposed to be out here for two and a half? So does that make it a win? Big time win, big W. Did you guys hear that? That may be a win. Yeah, so we were supposed to be out here for two and a half days. It's a little bit longer of a second day. It's five o'clock on a, a Tuesday, but it's it's gorgeous out. And we all kind of said, instead of coming back tomorrow for an hour or so, we're just gonna uh, knock this pathway out and then call it a day. So we could finish rinsing down this part of the uh, pathway. And then we are good to go. Well, everyone, we finished our project. I'm just super happy and super giddy. 
we were able to finish this project and get a project in the ground in the first week of March, which is unheard of in Chicago. This is the first time this has ever happened for us that since we can remember. Definitely a fun one. Definitely nice to kick some uh, dust off our boots. I'm super happy, super excited how this one went. I really love how the basalts look. The homeowner right now is actually moving some furniture around so that way they can see it from inside the house. Check out the link below down in the description of this video. Then I'll shoot you to our website. We have either the real or the fake basalt columns on there. And then also all of our other decorative water features that we sell. Bitters, urns, bowls, basalt columns, you name it. We got it down in the description. So as we always say, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. And we will see you guys on the next one.